Hey, what's up guys? How are you doing? This is Guy here. Today I'm going to show you a quick operation I'm going to do in my lab. Uh, before doing that, of course, it's a pleasure for me to bring you in my lab and do things with you. It's 10 p.m. my time on a Saturday and instead of being out in a club, I'm here stuck in my lab and doing some fun stuff. Of course, it's all fun. So I'm, I have this deployment here. This is my, uh, I call it KB Mega Lab. It's my mega lab on which I owe you a lot of videos. I know uh, I don't know if I've, t I've mentioned this, but if you haven't seen it, this is a mega lab I'm deploying to test a lot of services and, and tools and things like that. This is a secure SD1 deployment. And um, here I have the hub. Where's my pen? Uh, do I have it here? So this is the hub. It's actually a 40 gate 91G. Um, behind it, I have a switch and then I have a couple of devices uh, like oh, appliances or VMs, uh, Windows Server, a demand controller, uh, some Linux computer. And then I do have a 40 manager and a 40 analyzer. So these two are sitting behind the, the, the in the data center or behind this hub here. And uh, right now what I'm going to do is, because right now they're separate, I'm going to make the 40 manager do the 40 analyzer work as well. So we, we're going to do that for some reasons. I just had to do that in my lab. And of course, I'm like, why not? I, I would like to share that with you and show you how you can do it. And if we scroll down here, of course, I'm going to add the AP later on. For now, I don't have the AP yet. Uh, and then these are the branches or the, the spokes. They also have a switch and a different a couple of devices. Right now, I'm generating traffic from, uh, from these devices. So I have some scripts that are running on the Linux, Linux computer, just pushing out or sending requests to websites and uh, receiving responses and things like that. So that's what I'm using so I can get something to see in the 40 analyzer. And as, as you're going to see by the end of this, that 40 analyzer will also, uh, or the devices will be also sending the same logs to a different 40 analyzer that is going to be our current 40 manager. So that's the goal. So this is the 40 manager. As you can see, I have, I have uh, three, three devices. Uh, the hub is here and then KB branch two and KB branch one, they are uh, managed by the 40 gate, I mean, by the 40 manager. And also I have SD1 deployed. I have all the VPNs between the different, uh, the, the, the branches and the hubs. And also they are logging in the 40 uh, analyzer. This is where everything is. I can go under 40 view and look at SD1, for example. I also have SD1 enabled in the hub. So if I, this is the branch number one, so you can see. A lot of details here on the overlay and the underlays. Um, and if I go to KB Hub, we can see the bandwidth. We can see the state of the the overlay. I mean, the underlay and the overlays. And also something that I'm gonna talk about in a few days, maybe tomorrow. I will tell you about the speed test. You can use the SD1 a network monitor license or bandwidth monitor to be able to run speed test on your links to know exactly what you get. This is actually good because you can go to your service provider if you notice any issue or if the speed they give you is not good enough. This is a conversation started there. And then you can see on the application, I have all the other different uh, details on the application, CNN, YouTube, BBC, Netflix, and and everything and then on the summary you can see all the details so i have a 40 manager functioning right now sitting at uh, let me show you the ip here so this the ip of my 40 analyzer is 10.1.0.11 and the ip of the this is an analyzer the ip of the manager is 10.1.0.10 so what i'm going to do is use this ip for logging as well and why would you do this why would you have your 40 manager doing the 40 analyzer work collecting the logs and everything just because you can. And just because you can doesn't mean you have to. It depends on your environment. If you are a fairly small environment, you can have both functions on a single appliance. You have the 40 manager managing and then collecting the logs and everything. But if you are huge or if you are in a very critical environment where you really want to avoid a single point of failure, I would recommend you to keep them separate. The 40 manager does the managing, the scripting, the templates, SD1 and everything. And the 40 analyzer on, on its side does all the heavy lifting with the, the, the logs, the reports, the stock stuff, the IOC, all the security stuff. And you can also manage the access or give access to the 40 manager to the security team that need to see all the stock dashboard and stuff like that. So it's best to keep them separate. I personally recommend my customers to keep them separate. But if you are small and you have a VM powerful enough to do the, the, the managing, the logging and everything, 
you can definitely do that. More power to you. So let's get into that. And uh, in the 40 analyzer or the 40 manager, if you go under, uh, let's see, do you see that screen? So if you go under dashboard, you can see here that you have the option to, first we can enable ADOMS, which I didn't do in this case, but also you can enable 40 analyzer functions here. So if I hit this, it's going to enable 40 analyzer functions in the 40 manager and it's going to reboot the device. But when it comes back, it's also going to be listening to the port 514 instead of 541 only. So it will be able to collect logs as well. So let's do that. Let's enable the 40 analyzer and then, okay, so it's going to restart the, the device. So the, the 40 analyzer or the 40 manager is going to restart. In the meantime, I can show you some fun stuff in my 4D analyzer. Um, actually, can we look at the VPNs? These are all the tunnels. Dial up IPsec. What one? Okay, side to side. Okay. So uh, side to side IPsec will show us the different tunnels we have between uh, at the hub and the branches as well. Um, I use 1M or 1 emulator to simulate a WAN connection in my ESXi. Uh, what else I can show you here? I can see system details, but I think the most fun stuff is usually under SD1. So if you go under SD1, um, on the network, I can pick one of them, like the hub here, and then this shows me the SLA issues that I have. Not only issues, but it just gives you these different details, you can check the jitter, the latency, and the packet loss, for example. They should all have zero packet loss. Yep, it's all zero. Uh, that's good. And then uh, the interface, it shows you number of sessions you have on each interface, the upload, bandwidth, the download, and all the good details. So it's, it's, uh, it's very important. Health check status, it all shows here. So yeah, the 4D analyzer is actually is, is a very powerful tool on the traffic. Let's see, we can see the top source, top destination, um, a bunch of cool stuff, top country and region. You can see all the different countries. Oh, I mainly do the US and Canada. Uh, what else? Traffic analysis, that's a good one too. Uh, there is this, uh, there is this dashboard, is it here? There's a widget that I usually like to see under 40 view. I think it's under traffic. Top source. Uh, uh, no, no, it's under traffic analysis. Yes, traffic. And I can add a widget that I usually like. This is top source. It doesn't do much, but let me add that widget. It's actually something called source. Yes, top source. Top, uh, top sources today. This is what I, I was talking about. So if I do it in full screen here, you can see this cool animation. I can see this like in a in a knock or sock where you can see like these little uh, dots representing the traffic. You can see what is blocked, what is allowed. Let me remove my face. Yeah, so this is, it looks really cool. Um, let's look at the 40 manager. I think it's up. We can log in. Yes, so now what you notice is that we have all these functions that are from the 40 analyzer side. Now you can see them in the 40 manager. So our 40 manager is now doing the 40 analyzer work, so listening to 514 for logs. So now all I have to do is just inform my uh, three 40 gates of this new 40 analyzer. I can change the current uh, configuration on 40 analyzer, but I can also add because you can have many 40 analyzers configured on your on your 40 gates. So what I'm going to do is use the the script, use a script to add the new uh, 40 analyzer. Let me actually go into uh, the CLI of one of the 40 gates. Here I have the KB hub. I can check the config of the 40 analyzer by doing um, show log 40 analyzer setting. This is what I currently have. And if I do 40 analyzer 2, there's nothing to show. And actually, if you want to see how many you can have, let's see show log 
we can have 40 analyzer 2 we can have 40 analyzer 3 we can have 40 analyzer cloud so all of that's are all of those are options so what i want to do is use this to push a script from the 40 manager so let's go under 40 manager device scripts create new script i'm going to call it faz2 and it's going to be a script running directly in the device with remote FortiGet uh, with CLI. And then I'll just put that here, change the IP to 10, and of course change the serial number. Oh, I don't have the serial number. Uh, I need to find or to get the serial number of the 40 manager. Let me duplicate this page um, so I can go back to the dashboard and copy the serial number. All right, I can put that here. And this should be good enough. Let me hit OK. So right now, because I haven't deployed it, under logging FortiGate, you can see that all three are not logging. They are listed, but they don't log because they don't know about this new 40 analyzer. So what I'm going to do is run the script now. So I'm going to right-click, run it on all the three of them. And then next. And if you notice, I use a uh, public IP, I mean a private IP. So this lo these logs are going through the tunnels. So the tunnels need to be up. Um, and then I'll go run and then OK. So our script is currently running, but why does it? OK, it's running now. I will give you a moment. Actually, let's go back to here to the hub and see when that shows up. Not there yet, not there yet, not there yet, not there yet. Uh, for the analyzer. Oh, oh, what I did is I messed up because I actually changed the 40 analyzer one settings. No, oh no, that's that's not what I wanted. Yeah, this is what I changed, and that's not good. You know what? I can recover from that. Uh, all I have to do is this is why you need to be very careful. <laughs> all I have to do is push the the default here. Let's see if I can push. Now I just need to make a quick change in this default because this is where we have the old stuff in it. I can maybe change the transmission here. Okay. Yep. And then change something in the the default template for for the for the branches and then I can push to all of them to get them back to normal. No, I just want to do uh, install devices and I push it. All right, so what I did is instead of in my script, instead of uh, when it's pushing, let me show you. In my script here, I forgot to do for the analyzer 2. So I over, I, uh, I changed the configuration for the main 40 analyzer. So that's why I did that. So it's not a big deal. It was in my template. So I just pushed the template and the logs will resume on the main 40 analyzer as it was doing always. So that's fine. Because if we go back here now, we can see that now we are back to 11. So it was, it was 10, now it's 11. So now let me fix the script and change it to 40 analyzer 2 and hit OK. That's why if you go back here, we still don't have any logs. Maybe we do from the hub. Okay, the hub already started, but that's not what I wanted. So let's go ahead and uh, and run the script. 40 Analyzer 2, okay. So run it to all three of them. And then, okay. So let's go back here and see when it's going to come here. Not yet. No. Okay, it's there. So I have the settings for the new 40 analyzer, the number two. And I can go back to my uh, to my uh, 40 manager and check the logging devices. And you can see that all three are up. One thing that you can you may run into, I ran into it earlier, is that the source IP, because in my case I'm using a private IP. Let's see. Show log 40 analyzer to settings. This command here was very necessary in my case because it's going through a tunnel. If I don't put it, it's going to use a public IP as source IP, and through the tunnel, it won't be how to, it won't know how to respond. So make sure if it doesn't work for the branches, for example, make sure you uh, you add 
the source IP in here. This is coming because I already did the same thing in French and I just came to do it in English as well. So uh, it was already there. But if you watch my French version of this same video, I kind of ran into things um, to get this to work. And uh, usually what I like to do is if it doesn't work or if you want to troubleshoot, you can do some diagnose. I can just run this diagnose command uh, and then I can see all the packet going out uh, through the tunnel uh, to the 40 manager and then coming back on port 514. All right, so we have our devices logging here. I have all the 40 analyzer functions in the 40 manager. Can go on the 40 view, SD1. Of course, we don't have as much data as we have in the uh, the first 40 manager, but I mean, 40 analyzer, but it's good enough. You can see some things here, uh, the last hour, uh, same for the hub. And yeah, we can see what's up and uh, what's not. We don't have the test yet because we didn't run any test lately. Uh, I mean, we just moved it or started here. All right, that's all I wanted to show you. Thank you guys for being in my lab. Of course, all of this will be part of my... Uh, SD1 training that I'm going to release on en.kbtrains.com, but also um, I'm going to cover the whole KB Mega Lab project uh, on my website as well. So make sure you are at least signed up on my newsletter at en.kbtrainings.com. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.